Okay, we're getting ready here to cut some hand grooves in this butcher block cutting board. But, uh, my plan is here, let's see if it goes well, is to put a, a nice finger groove in here. I don't know if you can see the pencil line. Well, not there, but let's see if I can mess with this. It's about three inches down. I'll have a, a finger groove and then go all the way down to this area here. Something to grab onto when you're moving it around on the counter. But uh, let's see how this this operation goes here. Like I said, I had to make a special fence um, to accommodate this board. Um, I had to make these fences here um, and then make these blocks slideable so they're stop blocks, start and stop blocks for the board. So the one in the distance there, I'll rest it up against that, against this one. Lay the board into the cutting bit here and then move it all the way to this one. And uh, hopefully that works. So again, stay tuned here. Let's see what happens. This is, let's raise it up just a little bit. You lock the bit in. Turn it on and go to town. Good. A little bit of burning up in here. Let's see if I can adjust that up in there. So I'm gonna have to sand that out, and I might go. Just a, let's just a little bit deeper. But boy, that came out. Came out real nice. So, all right, let's uh, raise it just a touch. Actually, before we do that, let's do the other side. Just a little bit of burning, but it should be able to sand right out of there. Not much you can do about it. I might raise it just a little bit. You know that might help a little bit with the burning. So let's let's try that while we're while we're still set up here. And unlock my router bit. Raise it just a, a little bit. Relock it. And uh, tell you what, let's vacuum that off before we get crazy here. <laughs> sanding quite a bit of that. It's all right. I'll do the other side.
again. Just gonna need some sanding in there. Actually, not a bad little. Not too bad. Thanks for watching.